Hi, I'm Lizzie and this is Lizzie Reads and welcome to my Battle Royale reading vlog. I am already intrigued and very brutal. Had I not stopped for a cry? Um, so it is, as you'll, and not when you're watching this, uh, currently, it is Tuesday the 29th of June at 4pm. Uh, whatever a thon ends tomorrow. Uh, well, tomorrow night. And I still have three books that I wanted to finish before whatever a thon. I've completed my goal and I've read really well for my team. I'm really proud. I'm really happy. I'm still in the middle of one other book. Um, but I really, really wanted to read the Battle Royale for whatever a thon it's spoops his fave um spoopy holes fave um so it would get my team extra points um and i really 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 like i'm really interested in battle royale i believe i believe there's definitely sapphic elements to it um so it definitely gave me loads of points and it's like 600 and something pages definitely a lot more than i think I would definitely try to read with like what like 30 hour odd hours of well it's a bit more than 30 hours but you know 30 something hours left of the readers on to go but i'm really gonna try my best and i do have tomorrow off which is a huge 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 bonus so um i'm gonna try and read it and i've got the audiobook because it's on script and if you are one minute or so into this video i'm thinking Okay, Lizzie, I've not heard of Battle Royale before. Tell me what the fuck it's about. Um, it is essentially the original Hunger Games. Um, so it is about um, a load of kids or teenagers being put into a ring and fighting to death. And the winner gets to just live and I assume some money. That's literally all I know. And I know this was obviously out before Hunger Games. Um and i had no idea and i loved the hunger games when i was a teenager so i'm really interested to read this now i'm just on my break so i thought i'd start the vlog now and i've got 600 odd pages i'm gonna get a real real good chunk of this read tonight like a huge amount um i've got tomorrow so it's gonna be good it's gonna be fine but i'm gonna try and start start it now so i can listen to some of the audiobook for the rest of my afternoon and while cooking and such and then hopefully i can power through it tonight we'll see like listening to listen to it while watching um you know uh what's it called what's that what's that uh while playing animal crossing and things like that is what my plan is so i'm gonna go ahead read the first chapter i'll probably update you periodically throughout uh or when i have something to say um and i hope i love it i really do um I feel like it could be a five stars, but it's not necessarily a five star prediction. So we'll see. We will see. So this is a really short, 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 short update. But I just read the like the introduction in the play prologue. I'm not going to read any more because I don't want to get stuck halfway through a chapter um, just before I have to go back to work. But the writing style is interesting. I like the colloquial opening. I am already intrigued and. Yeah, I just want to read the first chapter, like, straight away. Bye, I have to work. This is so brutal. So, it's the next day now, and um, I woke up. I went to, no, I went to bed, and I'd read about, about 100 pages of Battle Royale, and i was really enjoying it i really like the short chap the mixture of the short chapters with the slightly longer chapters i like it that it tells you at the end of each chapter how many stu students are still alive um yeah it's been really brutal loads of drama been, it's been really good so far really great couldn't wait to start reading it straight away this morning it's so much easier to read than i thought it would be i think it's something about translated fiction and dystopia that just seems a very um like it's going to be a bit too difficult but it it's not it's really easy to read it's really readable 
um, and I'm really getting through it quite fast and there is no way I'm going to bed tonight without finishing this because I've just got to page 194 um, so I'm about a third of the way through just shy um, and there's been the first big what I presume to be first of a few big twists um, I won't spoil anything here but it is I was I was shocked I was very shocked. I really like it. It adds an interesting layer to what's going on, um, and it is really good. And I like the use of the, um, well, the reference to George Orwell. The, um, I guess some people are just more equal than others. Um, that was good. I like that. Um, true dystopia. But yeah, I just thought I'd give a quick update. Um, I listened to some of it whilst playing Animal Crossing this morning. So. I have been basically reading it since I woke up and I'm very happy about that. I could literally sit here and read the rest of it all in one go. I hope, anyway. I th I feel like this is going to be a five star spot. I won't get too ahead of myself and I'll let you know. So, it's um, like seven o'clock at night and I've just made it to another, like chapter 30 something. So I've got quite a lot to do and I'm really hoping I can really get to like as close as uh, I can to the end of the book before the end of the month which is tonight um I had a really nice afternoon playing some board games with my boyfriend so not quite what I was hoping but I'm just about to get in the bath there are sprints tonight like I'm really hoping to just really really power through closing sprints for whatever thons that's so exciting um I think we're on Daily Channel, I don't know who else is going to be there, so that's really good. Yeah, so hopefully, yeah, it's going to be, hopefully I can get through it. I'm really enjoying it. It is brutal, absolutely brutal. I just thought I'd do a little update because I'm on page 500 and I am hooked. 100% can finish this tonight and I think I'll do like a proper wrap up tomorrow. The characters, the plot moving so fast this is excellent it's so 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 excellent so once again i have come to edit a reading vlog and realized i didn't finish the reading vlog or tell you any points about it so uh i did manage to finish this i actually finished it at five past midnight um and i still counted it towards whatever thong because i read the bulk of it in I, I think it was a couple of pages and also, I would have definitely finished it earlier had I not stopped for a cry. So, um, yeah, that's what I read. I mean, the results are out now anyway. Um, spoiler alert, uh, Camp Contemporary did not win. I think they came third. Um, but let's talk about Battle Royale. It exceeded all of my expectations. I thought it was going to be harder than it was. For some reason, I thought it was really literary. I always have a little bit of a fear about translated fiction. I always think that it's more literary and a lot harder to read than it is. I don't know why I think that. Um, and then also the fact that it is dystopian. And I was worried it's going to be. I was, wasn't going to be reading into. I was going to be reading into all the wrong things. However. I absolutely loved this. I was gripped. I was following everything. There was so much going on. The only thing that I think was a little bit difficult is just that there's so many kids. So um, there's so many, like 42 children. Um, and I just, sometimes it took me a minute to grasp which characters were what. But I did really, really, really enjoy it. Um, I think I'd 100% recommend this. I'm so glad I read it because I don't know had... I don't know if I would have picked it up anytime soon had it not been for whatever thon and um, like um, people talking about it on booktube. So it's one of those real good booktube finds, which I seem to have had a lot of in June. If you watch any of my other videos um, from June, um, which I'll link down below about some instant faves. And I've got so much to talk about in my wrap up, even though I haven't filmed it yet. We're nearly halfway through the month, but oh well. Um... Yeah, so I really liked this and I thought it was a really interesting read and it was so brutal. I know I said it a few times, it was so brutal and I loved that about it. I thought it was so good. And then I actually watched the film the next evening and I really enjoyed that as well. There were some key differences about the film, um, which as obviously reading, you're always going to enjoy what you've done first. I think a little bit more 
um, I think some of the changes to certain characters I thought were better in the way that I read them. But, you know, that's just reader problems. So, <laughs> um, that's literally all I have to say. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. And please chat to me in the comments if you've read Battle Royale or Battle Royale is on your TBR. Thanks, bye. Excellent. Um, editing Lizzie's going to kill me. I just feel like this doesn't make any sense, person. Literally, that's all I know. Literally, that's it.